It is the 4th of March 2020. A fantastic Thursday it is today. And I hope that you are well. I hope that you are doing fine. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. This is Power Talk, where we come to you each and every Thursday from 11 to 12 a.m. A repeat of this show will be again every Thursday at 9 uh, uh, 15 p.m. So make sure that you tune in for that repeat and much more. This is where we give you life inspiring information, messages that can push you towards becoming a better version of yourself. My name is Ram Maguko. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. We are broadcasting live also on our website at www.y254.co. Ke. Make sure that you head over there if uh, you want us to, uh, to want to watch us online. We are broadcasting also on our online platforms. On Facebook and on Twitter, we are at Y254 Facebook and Y254 Channel on Twitter. This morning, it's all about discussing the X Factor, our excess. Our excess for keeps. So many people normally struggle with their excess, finding out how to move on f f from them. Is it possible to move on from a long-term relationship that has been there that you really had a lot of, uh, you know, expectations from? Is it possible to move on from your ex? Why do we keep on going back to our exes? Why do we still keep to contacting them? And is it okay to just be friends? Well, this morning, this is what we shall be putting into focus as we answer the question, are excess for keeps? Make sure that you be part of this conversation. I shall be highlighting uh, where you can find us in a bit. But to help us in this discussion, I'm joined by none other than Af Virginia Afiji. Karibu sana, Virginia. Hi, thank you. Uh, she is an artist, a TV host, and a radio host. Karibu sana. Thank it's you It's a so pleasure much, having you. Thank you. And to my extreme left, I'm joined by none other than, than Edwin Tiago. A pastor, a mentor, Hello. and a trainer. Hello. Karibuzana. And welcome. And uh, I would like to also recognize the presence of a uh, few individuals, Uni University of Nairobi students who are also uh, watching us live. They are in studio here as our guests uh, who are watching us live. Thank you very much. A big shout out to Faith and Bernard. I'm a Bernard, depending on Paliuli uh, Fundishwa. A big shout out to them, University of Nairobi students also with us uh, watching the show live on studio. But a big shout out to them, University of Nairobi students, you are well represented. This is Power Talk. Power Talk starts now. The hashtag, as always, is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko. Is where you can find me at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. Let's get this show going. Uh, let me start with uh, you, Pastor. Yes. Our access for keeps. And uh, just to start this conversation, is it healthy mm -hmm. to just keep in touch with an ex? It depends. On a lot of things. Uh -huh. Like what? One of them being what was the expectation of the relationship when it began in the first place? What brings about the X factor? What makes an X to be called an X? The reason why you broke up in other The words. reason as why you broke up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That will inform hmm. on whether they are for keeps or whether you are to move on and go. Because let's give a scenario where you are beginning a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, when you want to go from here to Kariobangi, you'll take Matatu. Mm -hmm. If you want to go from here to the United States of America, you will take a plane. So okay. it means Kariobangi and the United States of America are two different places. Mm -hmm. So if you had a relationship where you did not know where you are going, both of you, definitely the X factor will come about. Meaning, one will head to where they are going, whether it's Kariobangi, and the other one will continue with their journey to the United States of America. How about some Kuna levels? Mm -hmm. Kuna levels. Lens. <laughs> Lens. <laughs> Even when you are flying a plane from Kisumu, uh, uh, from Kisumu to Nairobi, and another one is flying, flying from Kisumu to the UK, mm. they, they, you, they, they do not fly at the same beautiful miles. And also, the sea level is different. It's different. So that is what brings about the X factor in the first place. The reason as to why people so break up. Depending on your destination, you can, or depending on your journey, mm -hmm. you can say that I will stay in touch or not. Yes. Okay, okay, interesting. Meaning, meaning it's a 50-50 thing. It's depends. a 50-50 thing. You can stay in touch or not. Again, it depends on the maturity of the people who are in the relationship. Okay. How Virginia? did these people break up? Virginia, um, is, it, is, is it okay? Do, do you guys agree with what he's no. saying? 
Wow. Personally, according to me, I mm -hmm. feel like a closed chapter should be a closed chapter. Kama imeisha, imeisha. Kama imeisha, imeisha. You know, there is a reason as to why this person is your ex. There is no way this person is going to be your friend. Your brother can be your friend. Your sisters can be your friends. You know, your cousins can be your friends. But somebody you had a relationship with, Cannot. definitely you had dreams, you had plans. There are so many things. There is a reason as to why you had a misunderstanding hmm. and the both of you had to part ways. So to me, it's a no-no. It's a no, no no. So 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 you cannot just be friends with an ex. I personally I feel like it's unfair to the person you maybe you're trying to have to start something with. Mm. Let's say I'm a friend with my ex. What about the person I'm with right now? I Let's say my ex friend. is a friend with is my friend. Mm. What about the girl she, he's trying to pursue at the moment? Are they going to be okay with that situation? I don't think so. So according to me it's a closed chapter is a closed chapter. Let it just be the way it is. And, and, and um, I'm looking at a scenario whereby uh -huh. uh, you have an ex mm -hmm. and your ex dates your best friend. Can you say that now we are friends, as ladies, we are best <laughs> friends, mm -hmm. uh -huh. even though he is my ex, we will not talk to him, but I'll be talking to you. Isn't that a complicated scenario? Uh, how do you let, balance let me, that? Let me say this. You can only be a friend to your ex if maybe there are kids involved or there is a kid involved. Because in such a situation, you have to be friends for the sake of the children. But if there are no kids involved, there is no child involved, I completely so I, just, I see no point of any friendship. Even if the person they are dating is your best friend? I'll have to lose one of them. Or either both of them. Ah, complicated. Pastor? I... I finished my point by saying it depends on the level of maturity. Anytime you're leaving a room, you have always say, watch out on how you close the door. Because anything might happen. So you level of maturity of who? You oh, or the Both ex? of you. Both of you. You, yourself, your ex, your level of maturity will determine no, 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 no. whether that relationship <laughs> can be kept. Listen <laughs> first. <laughs> 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 I, totally, I totally get his point. And it's his of Zuri Mwanzo, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? When you have broken up with someone, mm. the factors which determine whether your relationship will be maintained as friends depends on what was the purpose of the relationship. In the first place, what was the purpose of the relationship? Any time that you are getting involved in a relationship, they always many people uh, describe and they say that the end justifies the what? The, the means. It justifies the means. So it means as you're beginning the relationship, look at what are the interests, first of all, of both of you. Then those ones will determine whether when you come to the end of that relationship, Mnasema, e project to Lianzisha, Natunaona Yakwamba, Hatuta Fika Muisho. But hapo mbele, kuna mtu watahitaji mungine. Kwa njia moja ama nyingine, there is somebody who might need the other. Does that mean that you cannot be able to come together? Not so, this time. You are, you are poking my interest mm -hmm. now. Njia gani hizo utahitaji? Njia gani hizo? Ukipata mwenzako kinyeshewa kwa, kwa <laughs> stage, hawezi <laughs> kwa mfunika <laughs> na umbrella. No, kwa sababu umulia chana. I, I totally ah. get him, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't have to be enemies, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, what is the point of keeping, staying in contact? Mm -hmm. You get, that's the main issue. Mm -hmm. I don't see the point of keep, you, you're communicating, you keep texting, you keep calling, you know. How about the person you're trying to pursue at that moment? How about the person you're with at that moment? When oh. they hear you're a friend with your ex, okay, then you the can call your ex when you need them. It's, it's, oh, it's pointless. Then, then Afiji, what are the set boundaries for an ex? How do you say that these are the lines that we have, mm -hmm. and beyond this, uh, we have nothing else in common? Yeah, if, if let's say you had a business together, or maybe you had started a business together, we can talk about that, but not, you cannot call me in the middle of the night, you cannot text me the way uh -huh, you want. There are things uh -huh. we can talk about, you know. Uh -huh. It's just, we can't be friends with someone you are, nope. you, you used to be intimate with. It. Nope, it cannot work. <laughs> if you're not friends, uh, then automatically. You can work together, you can, you can be, I don't know, you what, cannot. What is your colleagues? 
you are working together in the same place what if your business partner mm -hmm. what if you know you, you you go to the same school or church that's or where that's where the boundaries now come in if we go to school together we'll talk about school after school kila mtu anaenda njia yake you get na pastor your ex is a member of your fellowship <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Hapo <laughs> many part. That is why I'm, I I've said it is very very much important you be mature, yeah? Uh. In one way. You learn how to differentiate matters. You learn how to differentiate the different levels of relationships that you are supposed to have. Either way, when you are having uh, an ex, for example, at your workplace, for instance, they are your boss. Mm. Will you stop working simply because your ex? Many people resign. Is your, in, in such cases, I've, I've seen them. No, that's where resign. the boundaries come in. You know, you know what to talk with this person about. You know, mm -hmm. there are things you will not talk about with them. So, which boundaries would you set? Yeah. The boundaries I will set. Because you, you mentioned is, maturity. Yes, right? maturity. Yeah. It means for someone who is mature, you must recognize that I will deal with him in this way, yes. in this manner. Objectively, not subjectively. How? In this case, if at all you are in a working relationship, let it be work and work alone. That means anything you pass through in the relationship, you put it at the back and you continue with your journey. Afiji, mm -hmm. you mentioned calls beyond a certain time. Yeah. At what time should you say beyond this time, no calls? I think past 11 p.m. That's, 11. That's a little bit yeah, over the boundary. Pastor, is there Nine. a specific time to receive calls yes. and not to receive calls? 11, 11, 11 will mean you still have interest. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. He's right. I, I believe. He's right. Yeah. yeah. E 11 means you still have interest. Yeah. You still have interest. Sa sangabi unafo useme is beyond this time no calls. Sa tatu sambili na nusu tosha. Unless ni daktari. Unless ni daktari. Unless ni daktari. Yeah, kuna kesi ya kubawele. <laughs> Where? Okay. And, and, and uh, at this point, I'd like you to tell me, those who are watching, mm -hmm. at what point should you say that beyond this time, we'll see the Simu, we'll see the Sambiri and Nusa Masa Tatu. Sambiri and Nusa Tatu. Simu. Because Rafiki and Mesema, that there is someone else that probably you're doing what you are pursuing. Yeah. You understand? Uh -huh. And my principle is we want to maintain maturity mm -hmm. in, this, in this essence of the XX relationship okay. Th those are calls mm -hmm. what about text beyond what time afiji text i think is it okay if i text you at 11 pm or I midnight no 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 not midnight no what time should what is the limit i think probably the same time 10 11. Pass i believe uh i believe uh i want to twist this conversation a bit uh -huh. okay yeah uh-huh anytime uh you have been in a relationship i believe you should ask yourself like she said yeah mm. what is it i'm going back for you understand kuna uwezekano wafu unaweza fufuka na wakawa wabana yeah the dead can be resurrected <laughs> and they be meaningful unto you you understand yeah. i wonder how kuna uwezekano <laughs> ulikuwa unaendelea na safari mm -hmm. na uka, uka, uka gundua ya kwamba kule ambako unaenda ni hatari Mm -hmm. so, mm. so how how long should you stay away from your ex before it's okay to be friends? I had a theory that it takes half the time to heal. Mm. Let's say you are in a relationship for four years. I hear it takes half the time to heal. So it will take you like two years to heal. So if you are dating for a year, you say six months. Yeah, maybe six months. So I don't know if if you've dated for. 10 years, if it takes you 5 years, well, that's a long time. But I hear it takes half the time to Af heal. Afiji, in your experience, mm -hmm. when you have <laughs> sex, <laughs> how, how uh, long did it take before it was just okay? To, to be honest, it took half the time. Pastor? Yes. <laughs> when you are um, interested in uh, somebody, mm -hmm. of course, you, 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 you will 
the, the feelings that you will develop mm -hmm. for this individual. Mm -hmm. We call it emotional investment. Aha, uh -huh, emotional <laughs> investment. Mm -hmm. But now, after you've invested in this person, mm -hmm. you break up, now mm -hmm. is your ex. Mm -hmm. But now, what does it mean for an individual who keeps on going back to their ex? I, I would does presume. It, does it mean? I would presume uh, that this is someone who does not know what they want. Even so, okay. This is someone who does not know what they want. Even though you you, you had invested because there, because huh? when you begin a relationship, there are things which you watch, and I believe, as you are looking for a relationship, you have a checklist together with you. Everybody has this checklist together with them. Hmm. So as the as the time is moving on. They are moving on as they tick on their checklist, what they have found mm -hmm. and what they have not found. You understand? So that one will depend on how much more they will continue invest, investing in this person. Yeah? For dinner. Yeah? She is, he is getting more interested. interested. What happens when those dinners all of a sudden unambiwa ya kwamba sina time? All of a sudden unambiwa ya kwamba hatuwezi yenda pamoja? It means this person is getting disinterested. Those are what we call the red flags. So you understand? When, so you, you should avoid going out with your ex at all costs frequently? If you are, if you're having an ex definitely I've said keep it if at all there is a relationship which has remained, yeah, keep it to the reason of the relationship, mm. yeah. Don't revisit. Usiende kuchimbua makaburi na uyuko tayari kukutana na yali mapepo ambayo ulifanya nini? Ulizika. So, if at all the reason of your relationship is not to go back to the relationship, mm. totally keep off that. Keep off. Keep off. Totally. Uh, uh, yes. A, a, a Fiji. Mm -hmm. What does it mean when, you, when someone keeps on going back to their ex? I, I, I'm sure you've... Um, let me just give an example. Ladies, <laughs> ladies have this... <laughs> a tendency. Mm. It's actually men. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, actually men. But eh? don't, don't ladies have these groups where they, you know, they sit together and, you know, you, you, you cry on each other's shoulders, you mm. know. She yeah, keeps too. on going back to, to him. Mm. She keeps on going back and forth, back and forth. Mm. You know, uh, su such thing is common amongst ladies. Am yeah, I right? True. Yeah, true. What does that mean for, for that friend who keeps on going back to her ex? If each and every time, it's like they never learn. I think in most situations, they, they usually hope for maybe a change. Mm -hmm. They usually hope maybe this person is going to change their mind. We are going to rekindle what we had yeah. and maybe get back together, you know. Huh. In most cases, we are usually in denial. Most ladies are usually in denial. You're not you've not accepted that this situation is over, this is a closed chapter, you know, you still hope for this, this person to get back together with you, you know. Yeah, so in yeah. most cases, that's usually the situation. But mm -hmm. now when you go back once, twice, thrice, and you see that it's the same outcome, mm -hmm. it gets to a point you just have to accept and you well, move on. Someone yeah. won't say madness is doing the same thing in and the expecting, same way, yeah. dif expecting, expecting different, different results. results. Yeah. But now, is it possible for you to go back to your ex and they change? And it, things get better? It ah. is possible. If a relationship is, de is defined, you understand? Mm. It can always work. You understand? In, 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 in our African culture, we say that kufanya kosa siyo, kosa kurudia kosa ndio kosa. kosa. Mm. You understand? Mm. Okay. And that is why I mentioned the issue of the of the checklist. That is what may give you a possibility of giving room if at all there can be change. Uh, Afiji, going back to your ex and Expecting things change. change. And they actually, is it possible that things they change? Things can change, but that person cannot change. Or, uh, uh, things can change, but they that will, person cannot yeah, change. Yeah, yeah. Let's say, let's say you left someone because maybe they had a bad character trait, you know. Hmm. They will try to change for you. No, no, not that they will try to change, they will try to please you by doing something that you didn't like, you know. Mm. But that, that person will, will still remain that person. They will never change. Let's say if he was a cheat, he will remain a cheat, you know. Let's say if he was a disrespectful person, he will mm -hmm. still remain a disrespectful person. Mm -hmm. You get it? 
So that person cannot change. You cannot go back to someone and expect them to be a whole total different person. Now, you've talked about, we, have, we, are, we are talking about going back to, the, to, to your ex. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> you are dating and you find yourself in a problem that your current fiance, boyfriend or girlfriend, depending mm -hmm. on the level that you are in, mm -hmm. cannot help you. Mm -hmm. And the only person who can help you <laughs> is your, is your ex. ex. <laughs> <laughs> It could be maybe he's financially stable, mm -hmm. unconnected. How do you do that? Do you still go back to your ex, Afiji? If it's nothing to do with intimacy, I will still call him and tell him, you know, I need this and this and this and that, and I know you're the only person who can help so me. So it's okay to call them? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a person. But the same, same no, person who would say, no, it's clear. Yeah. There are boundaries. As long as I'm not interfering with his situation, wherever he is, mm -hmm. It's well and good. Maybe it may be something <laughs> that Tunasaidiana Sisi water you get so uh, it's okay. That is why I said it is very, very important to be careful on how you close the door when you leave a room. Mm -hmm. Anything might happen when there's a kapato na chote kile. And you would want to do what? To go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what about gifts? Is it okay to still keep your ex's items, the ones that are in your house, his clothes, mm -hmm. the gift that he, he bought you for your birthday? <laughs> Is it okay to still continue putting on your ex's clothes? Noma. Who's it true? Who's it true? I would not advise to keep gifts, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which will spar, <laughs> which will spar memories oh. and bring back things which you have already buried. Uh -huh. You understand? Go, let me come to you. Eh? <laughs> I'm a lady, and this is what I'll say. You know, ladies get gifted a lot because mm. this this is what I say to ladies. <laughs> I am sure. So. <laughs> I don't see the issue. You know, gifts are sentimental, so it mm. depends with how you relate with the gift. If okay. that gift makes you remember your ex a lot, uh, then mm -hmm. it's definitely a distraction. But if it, I mean, you get gifted today, tomorrow, you know, I don't see the big deal. You can keep the gift if you want. <laughs> it might be a car, you can keep it. You can keep it. So, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the gift. I don't see the big deal. Unless if you look at the gift, you start remembering your ex. Maybe you get emotional. Then that's, what that's a whole distraction. What, what was the reason of the gift in the first place? Yeah. Okay. L let's not mix, mix it up. Mm -hmm. uh, let's divide it into two. Mm -hmm. We have the gifts that you received mm -hmm. when you are still dating. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you still have them, mm -hmm. those yeah. items. Mm -hmm. But now you're in a re different relationship, mm -hmm. but you still have those gifts. Mm -hmm. Should you throw them away? And that's the first scenario. The second scenario is mm -hmm. you are dating and your ex sends you gifts. Uh. These gifts which are keeping on coming, they should communicate something to you. It should be a communication. For the gifts which you received mm -hmm. when you are still in the relationship, my friend has said that if it is a car, she'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> those gifts, uh, they meant something to you. They communicated something to you. Definitely. They will refresh your memory about your ex. Uh -huh. And definitely, you will have in one way or another mm -hmm. to remember that there is a way or there is a place where they touched you with their gift. Okay. So, so many a times, you will find in relationships. So, Sao, uh, let me cut you off there, okay. Pastor. Okay. Afiji, mm -hmm. we will come back. Let's take, take, take a break. Okay. But after this break, mm -hmm. you will tell me, what if your ex is really close to your family members? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Your ex is so close, and apendo na wazazi wako, and apendo na family members, and now you don't know what to do because they supported him. Mm -hmm. We shall be answering this and much more questions. Remember, the hashtag as always is Power Talk Show. Now, we had asked our viewers to send in clips. As always, this is what we always do each and every uh, Thursday on each show.
Tell us your thoughts using the hashtag uh, Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. Secondly, tell us your thoughts on a video. You send us a one minute clip of yourself telling us what you think. Some of our viewers sent their clips. We shall sample them up after this break. Do not go too far. This is Power Talk. <laughs> Y254 Imagine To get Matthew chapter 7 by for this is power talk I hope you're getting power from this conversation huh? I hope you are being empowered uh, through this conversation The hashtag is power talk show on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 channel uh, Today we're asking the question are access for keeps Now let me head over to Facebook and see what people are saying mm -hmm. I'm with a Fiji uh, uh, and uh, Pastor mm -hmm. Karibu ni sana. Asante. Uh, Tuangale what people are saying on, on, on our Facebook platform. Mm, kamati na sema uh, mga. Kamati ya watu. Anasema, mm. I'm seeing Rodriguez at the Benz Omondi. Anasema, your ex is calling you at 11 p.m. and you accept. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Joel Omwana wa Jora. Anasema, watching from Ebulwanda Bunyore. Mm. Koveto wa Bur... Hey, watu wakano majina hapa nji. Mm. Bura Kwada mm -hmm. and Asama Upper Locks Nikua L D. Yeah, it's right since you let her know every part of your greatest moves. By the way. Mm. Your part. Is it is it okay to keep in touch with them just for, for them to know that you're moving on, you know? Asama T hey, watch this space. In five years I'll not be there. That's already a sign you've not moved on. Uh. Mm -hmm. mm. Kalale Wayuna Nasema Nikondani Nikiwa Kitale Kibomet Pamoja Hadi Tamati. Be the Ashley and Ashley and Asama watching from Macha. Uh, Masinde Kutoka Vumilia and Asama watching from Washington County. Selected Davy and Asama song and belle kama injili. Song and belle kama injili. Faster. Yes. Well, we, we shall sample them uh, up. Remember, we also asked our viewers to send mm -hmm. us a clip. Uh, those clips are coming up in a bit. Mm -hmm. But now let's move on, move on with this conversation. Yes. And I ask the question, what if your ex has good a good rapport with your family members? What do you do in that scenario? Afiji? Mm -hmm. um, okay. let, let me start with that first. Okay. Well, um, I don't see the big deal if you are friends with my sister, if you are friends with my mom, if you are friends, you know, you can stay friends with them. Hmm. But I think I won't be in a space where you are there with them, you know. But the family members will be putting under pressure, huh? They will organize events and make sure that you are on the same table. Ah, <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will have to tell them who, whose side are you on mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Is it mine or, So you know. that's why you want him. When the, ah. <laughs> when the car is involved. When the car is involved. Your ex has bought your mother a brand new Prado or Mercedes. But you know, then, at the end of the day, the decision is mine, you mm -hmm. know. There is a reason as to why that person is my ex. If he still wants to be friends with my family, that's up to him. If my family wants to be friends with him, that's also okay, you know. You will not go and tell someone, I don't want you to be friends with him. I don't, you know. But if they want to stay friends, as long as it's not interfering with me uh. or my decisions or my plans, it's fine. L let me come to you, Tiago. Uh, your ex, have a, your ex has, a, has a good rapport with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. How do you work your way through that? Uh, the best way is to be able to define yourself. Let everybody understand your principle and what you want for your own life. Again, they are friends with my family. They are not friends with me. Mm -hmm. You cannot stop anyone from being friends with whoever they want to be friends with. Mm -hmm. In this case, I would always say that it is upon you. Probably let us go back to where it began. Uh -huh. By the time you're introducing them to your family, yeah? Don't introduce to your family things which are not serious because you'll always be keep you'll always be having problem because this family will this family member will love this one this family yeah. member will love this one this family by the time you are coming ukiruhusu hiyo it will be chaotic you understand mm. so when you are beginning a relationship getting to the level where now you are bringing in your family let it be something serious Point to not for everyone. Yes. By the time you introduce them to your family, to your family, let it be something be serious. Yeah, let it be something serious. Because yeah, can you imagine, hmm. you are having about four exes 
I don't advocate that, especially for believers. I, I, I also give my stand as far as faith is concerned and relationship. But can you look at a scenario where you're having three exes mm. and they all know your parents, they all know your family, they know your brothers. <laughs> your life will be chaotic. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> yeah. Hey, no, my son. Mm. And, <laughs> wow, okay. Let me ask you another question. An ex you are dating, mm -hmm. you are dating, mm -hmm. but now in the course of you guys dating, they die. How do you move on from that? Because now we can just say that is your ex now, but not, not that Mulikosana mm -hmm. in the natural, in the, you know, before, uh, you, were yeah, yeah. Yeah. before you could sort things out. Mm -hmm. But now, how do you handle that uh, scenario? Let me come to you, Fiji. Wow, well, that that's different mm -hmm. because that's like you're still in a relationship with someone and then all of a sudden they're not there anymore yeah you get it so it takes time for you to accept the situation first of all you'll have to grieve you know it takes time for you to accept and then mm -hmm. now for you to move on maybe you feel because anyone who has ever lost someone who they're dating they usually feel very guilty to move on Mm. But you know, it gets to a point you feel like this person has blessed you, has given you the blessing. Mm. Now you feel like you, you're okay to start seeing someone else. Because it takes time. It takes time. Yeah, it takes but time. But will you move on? Most people do. Even in marriage, you know, you, you, you might even be married to someone and maybe you're still young. Mm. You know, maybe you had just, maybe it was an early marriage, you're still young and then you lose mm. your partner. It happens, but it takes time. It gets to a point where you feel like your partner has given you the blessing, so you can now move on peacefully. Mm. Mm. Pastor Chego, uh, is it okay to move on now that you're, you know, you you have his things in your house, mm -hmm. you know, his property, everything. You have, you you made plans, and now death tore you apart. Mm -hmm. how, how how do you um, do it? Death is inevitable. It is a journey that each and every one of us will take at one point in life. Mm. That is the first fact to accept in life. Wherever you are, in whatever relationship, be it at your workplace, no one day you will die. The most important thing it is the process that you undertake after that uh, person dies. Of course there was closeness, mm. but now they are not here anymore. Once you've accepted that fact, then you begin on the steps to recover mm -hmm. from that, uh, we may call it trauma. Uh, you recover from the, from, from, from the emotions that you had and you move on from there. And, uh, Definitely, at one point you just have to But, but the question is, how mm. long do you give yourself before you say, because you, you find someone... Uh, take enough time, you, take enough time. Yeah, people are different. Mm. There's take someone who will even take 10 years. Mm. So people are different. Mm. Take, wow. it, take enough time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, take enough time to grieve and to mourn. Mm -hmm. Because you know mourning is a process. Yeah. After you've grieved and mourned, now begin to move on with life. Because it is important you do. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, um, the, I'm told the clips are ready. Before we go, that this conversation is, is, is going up to Medachin. It was a sad mood. Let, <laughs> me, let me change it again. You have tattooed the name of your ex on your skin. Hey, Chineke. <laughs> I don't judge people who tattoo names of their partners, but mm. <laughs> yeah. but when you get to that point. Because people do things, you know, you can even move in together with someone, it doesn't work out. Mm. You still have to strategize what to do next because at the end of the day, there are things that if, if it's meant to I quite happen, I quite happen. So if you tattooed someone's name, you just figure out, maybe you go and do a cover up or something. Because experience. if you're no longer together, what's uh. the essence of walking around with someone's name on your body, you know? For them who have tattooed the names of their loved ones, Nibizuri, Kupenda Mitu. But don't get to a place where you worship someone. 
you've never even tattooed the name of God or have a scripture on your skin. Why yeah. should you tattoo someone's name, <laughs> name. on yourself? <laughs> 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 Nobody's son has taken me there. No. So uh, it should not get to those levels. It should love not. someone, express your, mm. your love and emotions to them, but don't get to a place of worshipping them. So mm. you're, you're saying tattooing mm. someone is actually worshipping that person? That is too far. That is going too far. Tattoo them in yeah, your heart. Mm. That is too far. Mm. Tattoo them in your heart. <laughs> Why? Eh? What's the essence? Uh, no, but let's take a look at what people are saying. I still have so many questions that mm. uh, we have not covered. Mm. Let's take a look at, look at what people said. Mm. Remember, we asked the people to send in a one-minute clip of themselves giving us their take about our access for keeps. Take a look. Good morning, Ram. My name is Lamek from Kembu County. Uh, my contribution is that you should be able to keep your ex. It is controversial, but uh, I believe that is the right thing to do because before the dating, you are friends first. And that friendship should be superior to the dating that you had. So after the experiment, you must rekindle what you had before the experiment. That is friendship. Friendship withstands at the test of time. And therefore, after you fail to do what you wanted to do in your relationship, you must go back to where it started, and that is the friendship base. You should be able to keep your ex close, but not so close avoid some temptations that may come with um, some memories thank you hey yeah so excess 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 are not for keeps for me when you leave you have left you cannot have your way back into my life even as a friend it's not supposed to be that way because if that person intended to be in your life they would still be in your life and they would not have left so if they left they left and that's it being in communication you know sometimes you date someone just for a month or two months then you realize no we are not compatible that one cannot be an ex that one was just someone that you went and took coffee together and that's it yeah oh, we are, that, that one is firm <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me just give you time to 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 react to what people have said. Eh? Mm -hmm. The two uh, 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 viewers who have uh, given their comments. Do you agree with what they said, Afiji? Uh, the second lady, I I agree with her. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you've closed the chapter, close the chapter. Songa. Mm. The the same way that guy said, "Kama injili." Like in you, when you know someone kama injili, injili. Do you agree with, with what uh, our viewers have said? I still maintain my position. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. X. What to panda chair? <laughs> <laughs> so for him, and a Salimia X just for his own beneficial Security. purposes. Security. <laughs> Security. <laughs> what to panda chair? Now, hey. uh, okay, speaking what of. What to panda chair? What to panda chair? What to panda chair? What at one point. Ah. Mm. Five, mm. Five, 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 ten years from now, mm. you are, they are in the same school. Mm. And then now they are on a date. Mm. Let me, speaking of Kupana Cheo, mm. uh, let me try to save my words properly. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are dating somebody and uh, this person does not have the same abilities as your ex. Mm -hmm. And here we're talking about, uh, you know, the uh, abilities mm -hmm. that are uh, the, that normally take place uh, indoors, mm -hmm. closed door, private activities. Mm -hmm. What do you do in that scenario, Afeji? So you come in the fata. Yeah, you make fata. Good. Well, I think people are different. Akuna mtu pewa kila kitu. You get. 
you may find maybe your ex had the ability but kuna kitu alikuwa anakosea yeah. like there's something he lacked mm. and maybe this person has that mm -hmm. factor you get mm. so you ha you just have to find what the balance you know and you know what you can work with what you can't work with mm -hmm. if it's something you can't work with i don't understand why you are dating that person yeah, well, if it's something you can work with mm -hmm. people are different uh, what what was it, Oshana? You get. <laughs> yeah, we had viewer discretion here. So, uh, we are talking about now, uh, Pastor, what do you do? Mm -hmm. uh, your current one doesn't have the same ability as to motivate previous. you as the previous one. Oh, what made you move to the current one? What made you move to the current one? You understand? But these are things you, you, you cannot tell. You are now inside, you are in closed doors, or may realize, oh, oh. who you have, Kumbe, they don't satisfy me as the previous one. Mm -hmm. Expectation, yeah. Uh, it's a bit challenging from where I sit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me let, allow me to be able to speak from where I sit. Please do. Um, as a believer, mm -hmm. we, we are not allowed to go about test driving. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to go about test driving. And therefore, it means when you've set your expectation in any relationship, it includes those private matters that you have highlighted. Yeah? Unaendanga kama umeamini ya kwamba ukifika huko mbele mambo ingine itajitetea. Itaweza kufanya nini? Kuafikia. But of course, someone must be well functional when you're getting into a what? into a relationship. Mm. Kile ambacho kinakuvutia yeah. ndio kwanza kilikufanya ukamwendea yule mtu. Yeah. Therefore it means mm. when you find mambo sio mazuri ni wewe utajaribu vile uweza. Just work through it. You work through it <laughs> that you make things work yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the past is past na unafanya nini unaendelea mbele. But remember eh, we do not advocate for doing what for test, test driving. driving. Mm. You have something to add on that? No, I, I just agree with what he said that uh, mm. and it, it, your expectations are lowered. <coughs> you just have to work through with what you have because there is a reason as to why you started dating this person. Mm. Because you're not going to tell me if you find someone is not... If mm. you find the expectations are lowered, you're not going to tell me you will go back. Okay. You're not ready for the journey. Like, if you you're ready But so you who you do how is I don't know how is mm -hmm. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Mm -hmm. The ex from mm -hmm. They bought your house. Mm -hmm. They bought your car. Mm -hmm. They always financed everything mm -hmm. that, uh, y you know, you now own. I'm mm -hmm. talking about physical materials. Mm -hmm. You now have a, a, a good house, a good car. They even got you a job. Mm -hmm. The money you earn, you owe it to them, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. But now they're your ex. Mm -hmm. You've moved on, you're dating someone else. How do you handle such a scenario? Because now your ex will feel like they own you. It's like you are who you are because of them. Mm -hmm. I believe that when you're getting into a relationship with someone, nobody, nobody expects that you're going to, to break up at yes. some point, you know. Yeah. So the moment you're in a relationship, you usually build each other. So there's no way somebody can get to a point of buying you a house, buying you a car, getting you a job, if you've not built him as well. Mm -hmm. You get? So uh -huh. it's usually a 50-50. So it's like we've, we've gotten to this point, we cannot go on with our relationship, we have to part ways, but whatever happened, happened. You built me, I built you. Let's go our separate ways. Yeah. I'll go with the biblical principle that do unto others what you like to be to done unto you. unto you. And therefore, I always say, look at life from the humane or from the humanity perspective. Mm. Yeah? Mm. No matter the kind of investment you put in someone's life, just tell yourself that I'm a human being and I'm meant to do it. I'm meant to help. You will move on faster. So anytime you would want to help someone, Kiangalie kama binadam, first of all, Mm. Leave alone the emotional mm. part of it. Because the reason as to why people have excess, yeah, it is because walieka mambo mengine mbele kuliko the relationship. 
aspect. Remember, there is no relationship without closeness. You understand? Mm. So, lile joto ndio linasababisha ya kwamba mambo mingine yanafanya nini? Yanafuata. But, But if you respect the humane principle, Ram, mm. just a minute, first of all. Uh, yes, yes. If you respect the humane principle, mm. ya kwamba anything unafanya, unafanya first of all as a human being, before you attach any emotion to it, I believe it will be quick. But now, we, we have people who now cry back to you and, uh, uh, and tell you that you must return everything that I gave to you. Mm. I made you who you are. Mm. You must pay back everything that I gave to you. Mm. I think that's a, a bit selfish, you know. They were not doing it from... You know. Because initially when you're with someone, you don't look at it in terms of nita benefit nini kwa hii relationship you get it you mm. just being you being supportive to your partner the way he wants you to be supportive you get the same way he's being supportive to you so if things go south and mnaamua uh, break up i think it's just you accept and then unasema wewe ulibaki na hii ulibaki na hii it's okay mm. you know i support you from where we are you move on with life you move on from there yeah i think i think the the people who usually ask back for what they bought I feel it's a bit selfish and childish selfish. dog. And some of them end up insulting you. Mm -hmm. you yeah. know, Announcing to each and everybody. Yeah. They even That go on social media. You, you had me mention, huh. ya kwamba kama uliachiwa nguo na ex, usivai, <laughs> kwa sababu uleza basi kuile, mtapatana kwa sherehe moja. You go to one party. And then he goes around telling everyone in the party, ya kwamba unaona ile, ni mimi nilifanya nini, nilinunua. But just as she said, it, it is a bit childish, yeah? New mm -hmm. total. Yeah. Kuenda ku claim back the things that you gave an ex. No matter yeah. how expensive All it right. is. Okay. Uh, still, I have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about information. Mm -hmm. uh, you are now dating somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, should your ex be uh, aware about your current expeditions? Mm -hmm. Di should you keep information from your ex? Pastor. Information how? information mm -hmm. what you're doing where mm -hmm. you're working uh, you know how your day is going uh, when you when you talk to your ex mm -hmm. and akuliza how are you you know you you, you pour yourself or should you you know have restrictions as to your daily daily routine is all about it still comes down to boundaries the, mm -hmm. the same way we spoke before mm -hmm. because if you're no, if we are no longer together I don't see the essence of you knowing where I am, what I'm doing. You could be a psycho. <laughs> hey, yeah. Psycho. I, I could be telling you information about what I'm doing and maybe where we left our relationship. Maybe you're still bitter. Maybe, you know. Mm. I, don't, I don't see the essence of you telling your ex every single thing that you're doing in your life. It so just it comes should... down to boundaries. What are we talking about? Are we talking about school? Let's talk about school. Are we talking about Work, let's talk about work. Are we talking about, you know, it comes down to boundaries. Pastor, your ex texts you five years later or ten years or mm -hmm. even a, a few months later, mm -hmm. just checking up. How are you? What are you up to? Do you say it's none of your business? You don't say it's none of your <laughs> business. <laughs> Remember, this is someone that you once had a relationship yeah. with. And uh, the level of engagement, yeah, it may be differ. There's, uh, there, there's information you cannot give to them. Mm -hmm. There's the deeper information you cannot give to them. Because there are different levels of friendships. Uh -huh. We have constituents, uh -huh. we have comrades, yeah? And there are those ones who are confidence, yeah? So at one point, probably, mm -hmm. they were your confident. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But when you parted ways, they began to move from the inner circle mm -hmm. to the outermost circle. Mm -hmm. So you will see the information depending on where you want the relationship to remain. So, yes, there are boundaries. But you cannot be able to deny them the basic information. You give them encouragement. They have to move on with, with life. Encourage so them in one way. Send them a devotional. <laughs> Send them a scripture in the morning. Send them a scripture. Send them a devotional. Like you see what I jail. Your ex sends you a text mm. at uh, 5 a.m. Your partner sees it. Mm -hmm. And Akurza, who is texting you? Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be just about some non-issue, a work-related issue or something. Mm -hmm. is, 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 should you be concerned as a partner that your current uh, person is receiving messages mm -hmm. from the ex, mm -hmm. even though it's completely not relationship connected or something? Yeah, Ram, uh, one thing I want you to know is uh, I want everyone to know, the viewers, 
that there is no relationship which is obsolete. Insecurities are always there. You understand? So it depends on the level of confidence you have built with the current partner you are having at that moment. Huh. If they have confidence with you, yeah, they can allow you to go and sit in a restaurant with your ex, believing there is nothing I that should, will take place. Should you tell yeah. your partner mm -hmm. all the excess you have? It is very important to unleash skeletons from the closet, but do it very, very carefully. Unleash one by one. You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is what I tell people. Whenever you've met a new partner, make sure any skeleton you have in your closet begin to release. One, one by, by one. one, yes. Not all at once. By the t yeah, not all at once, it will be chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel it necessary because uh, what if something happens in the future and then, you know, it will, it's going to build some trust issues. Mm. Your partner will be like, you would have told me this, you would have told me this, you would have told me this. So I feel like if you have an ex, maybe that you're still talking to, your partner needs to know. They should know all your exes. Yes. Yes. Not all your exes, but... <laughs> they should know the, 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 maybe the major people that mattered in your life, people that you really took, people that were really special in your life. You in, know. Amongst your exes. Amongst your exes. Should you block them? If it's necessary. <laughs> if they are a bother. If they are a bother. Yes. You know, there's someone who can just decide to make your life a nightmare. Yeah. Or maybe they've not moved on. They've not moved on. So that is why I say, depending on maturity, when, I began, when we began the show, uh -huh. depending on maturity, you understand? Okay. It will determine whether you will block them or, or whether not. you will be able to continue with Sour. engagement um, communication. I have another case scenario. Mm -hmm. I have so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should you be bothered when your ex move on so fast? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because people take time to, if somebody really was really special in your life, uh -huh. you're not just going to let go in a minute and hop on to the next one, you know. Uh -huh. It takes time for you to heal. Everyone gets devastated. You might not be interested in that relationship, but the, the moment you realize this person is not in my life anymore, uh -huh. it takes you time to, to heal. It takes you time to accept. It takes you time. You get... Of which you said that time, so when time, you, time taken depends on... A person. Exactly. What if yeah, time yake misha? That no, means Ali alianza to move on kitambo wenda huko unajua, you know. So maybe the the moment we kuna fikiria, you guys are still in a relationship. He had started yeah, he had moved moving on. on, you know. Meaning the breakup started way before yeah, you Yeah, yeah. So you, when you see your partner has moved on very fast, peke yako. Should you be bothered when your past when your ex move on so fast? You should not be bothered. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one is you also want to yeah. to move, move on, on yeah. yeah. If you call it both quits, uh -huh. yeah, then it should not bother you that they moved on so fast, uh -huh. unless you still had some emotional attachments. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always advise people: once you've gotten out of a relationship, yeah, mm -hmm. once you've gotten out of a relationship, take your time. First of all, because if you fail to do that, the mistakes you made in the past relationship, you are here to make them again. Okay. And then the X factor will be an issue in your life for good. So don't be offended that someone has moved on. Mm. Learn a lesson from it. Learn a lesson. Yes, learn something from right. that. Uh, we, we are coming to the close of this, but uh, let, let, let's close with the, you, are Fiji. Yeah. You're an artist. Yeah. Is there a little song that you have so far? Yeah, I have a song in it. Uh, Niko Tayari. Niko Tayari. Yes. Kurudiana na ex wangu. No. Tell us about this song. <laughs> Niko Tayari is uh, basically a song um, about commitment. Mm -hmm. So I wrote it way back, I think in 20, early 2020. Mm -hmm. So it, it's basically, I'm, I'm just trying to, to represent the ladies who are ready to commit, ready to settle down, ready mm -hmm. to be with one person. It's all about commitment. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, you, you can give us a line in that song. Sindio. Yeah. yeah. You, I put it to 
tutafungia mm-hmm. well uh, so i'll give you time to sing that but thank you very much uh, pastor mm-hmm. pastor tiago yes. for being with us uh, today i was with edwin tiago he's a pastor a mentor and trainer with virginia afiji obonyo an artist a tv and a radio host so that brings us to the end of power talk this morning it has been a pleasure our access for keeps well catch a repeat of this show again tonight at 10 p.m. every Thursday at 10 p.m. catch a repeat of this particular show I would like to end with this quote here that says being friends with your ex is like keeping an empty wine bottle in your fridge you get nothing from it and it takes up space for something new well, that brings us to the end of Power Talk. This has been Power Talk Show right here on Y254. My name is Ram Maguko. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for keeping it. Y254. Afiji, Maliza mm-hmm. Kipindi, with your song there. Hi, guys. I have a brand new song. It's called Niko Chayari. It's on all platforms. So I'm just going to give you a small bit yeah. of the song. Mm-hmm. Niko Chayari kusemari konawe. Usini ache moyo wa kudai. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me Power Talk. See you again next Thursday right here on Y254. This is Power Talk.